Welcome back to the Data Buzz Podcast. I'm Noel. And I'm Brendan. I'm Weston. I'm Weston. There you go. That works. Uh, all right, we're back <laughs> talking about the AFC East, kind of going down the game-by-game -game breakdown here. So uh, last couple of weeks, we've gone through the AFC West, AFC North. Uh, this is kind of our next event of that series, going over the AFC East, kind of going, as I said, game-by-game, -game, breaking down our individual picks, comparing those to the Vegas lines seeing what we like, what we don't like, talking a little bit about each team going forward here. And uh, yeah, just some major changes kind of as our season preview. So we can jump right into it uh, with our first pick, uh, with our first kind of, not pick, with our first team here, uh, the Patriots. So I'm just going to try to keep it to 10 minutes and under for this. So uh, Patriots schedule is starting off week one. We got Cincinnati. That's going to be a tough one. Loss. I believe that we've already chosen that. So, yeah. Yes. All of us have Bengals. Yep. Perfect. All right. And then uh, up week two, we got the Seahawks. It's probably a loss. Yeah. It's the Patriots we're talking there. about. I'm going to go I'm loss go, week two. Yeah, I'm going to go loss as well here. Uh, I don't really see him getting it done. I think the Seahawks have a little bit of an identity crisis as well, but they just have much better uh, players on their team at the end of the day. 100%. I agree. All right. Mm. We're cruising. On to week three. We got the Jets. Return of Aaron Rodgers. Uh, it is at the Jets. I'm going to go with another loss. Yeah, it's another loss. Thursday night football. Um, still early in the season. Pats are not getting it done at this stage. No. I got the Jets here as well. Not another loss. All right. And then another kind of a tough stretch here. Uh, going loss. week four. Yeah, we got the 49ers. <laughs> I'm going to go with the loss. I'm going to go with the loss of the Niners as well. Yep, that's easy. Don't Don't have to explain it. All right, make them 0 and 5. Let's go. <laughs> All right, week five, we got the Dolphins. Loss. Uh, it Loss. is home. <laughs> I'm going to give them their first win. I'm going to give them their oh, first win here. You're feeling a little frisky. I, I always am. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't mind that pick. I still have a loss there. Yeah, I just feel like, uh, I don't know. Dolphins probably going to be rolling, probably going to destroy them, to be honest, but I got to sneak in a winner or two here and there. I don't think the Dolphins are necessarily going to sweep this series. Um, week six, uh, it's actually a brutal fucking stretch. Uh, oh, they have the a Texans. terrible schedule. Yep. Texans week six. I'm going to go with the Texans. Yep, that's a loss. I agree. Also a loss. Just a much more talented team. Week seven, uh, we have the Jags, and this one is in London. Right? They're going to win just because it's in London. It's the only reason. I'm going to take the Jags I'm struggling here. with this one. I might give them their first win, but I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the loss here. I think the Jags are better. <laughs> Jags are already favored by six and a half. Goodness gracious! I feel like the Jags are a sneaky team that they're gonna they were gonna be last year. They're gonna be that team this year. So I'm uh, keeping my eye out on that. I think Trevor Lawrence got a decent amount to prove. Uh, he has a lot to prove. Yeah, yeah. Week eight. Loss. Well, home this time. Loss. I also have a loss. Jets are a good team. Yep, I'm gonna give them, give it to the Jets here as well. You just need to be like an above average team to probably beat the Patriots. Speaking of barely above average teams, week nine. Every Titans. <laughs> I think the Pats will win that one. It is tough. Two new head coaches, kind of similar teams. 
I'm going to take the Titans. I think another loss for the Patriots here. I'm also going to take the Titans. I think Will Levis kind of steps up this year, and I think this is going to be a big game that he does it in. Yeah, Will Levis sucks, and the Patriots (laughs) will win this game. (laughs) Drake May sucks. I've turned on Drake May. Just like hey, that. I didn't say shit about Drake May. I didn't say shit. You've been hating on Drake less. May. We have like at least tens <laughs> of hours, of tens of hours <laughs> of recordings of you just fucking shitting on Drake May. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that against you. Week ten, uh, we got the Bears. It is at the Bears, and I think the Bears are just gonna molly walk the Patriots here. I got their first win. I got the Pats win in this one. That's a ridiculous take. Yep, it is, but I'm, I'm taking it. <laughs> Bears are actually yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah, I got the Bears. It, that's not much of a question for me. I knew I had to sneak in a win. I, I currently only have them as a one-win team. No, that, was, that was my one win. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, week 11, we got the Rams. Um, Loss. Loss. I agree with you there. And then week 12, we got the Dolphins, second game of the series at the Dolphins. Uh, Loss. I'm going to get, yeah, this is definitely going to be the Dolphins. (laughs) At home, Patriots don't win. In Miami, got the Dolphins. Colts week 13, do we see. Any potential Anthony Richardson injury impacting this? I think I've asked that for every single time that the Colts have come up. I've asked about an Anthony Richardson yeah. injury. Doesn't matter because they have Joe Flacco. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So, week 13. I got the Colts. It's got to be the Colts. Yeah, pretty easily. Week 14, I'm going to give this Patriots their second win. They're going to have a really good bye week. Um, and then we have week 15. Cardinals. Uh, the Cardinals. At the Cardinals. I, I the, also have the Cardinals. Yeah. The Cardinals yeah, are going to be, be fighting for a playoff spot this year. Might not get one, but. Yeah, I think they're going to be fighting for it, but they're going to fall pretty short. I think they're going to fall short right around this time. This actually could be like their combustion game. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's crazy. You got Bills twice at the end of the season. Twice in three weeks. I'm going to go. So this is week 16, you got the Bills uh, at the Bills, and I'm going to go with the Bills. The Bills. I agree. Bills. Just a much better team. We already made the Chargers pick, right? <laughs> this, is, this is awful. I mean, yeah, we already made the Chargers <laughs> pick. Um, I did not. You did not. Yeah, Weston and I both That's picked true. the Chargers. Yeah, it's the Chargers. (laughs) (laughs) I thought for, you know, five seconds, and I couldn't justify it in any way. So, yeah, Chargers. All right, week 18, I'm going to give to the Pats against the Bills at Gillette uh, with the hope of Josh Allen sitting. I don't think it's actually going to happen, but I I can't see this being a one-win team. Maybe they will be, but I uh, I think two wins is pretty reasonable. Split with the Bills. I think I think split with the Bills as well. I'll give them two wins. Um, yeah, unless the Bills trades for Ayuk. Uh, I'll take the Pats here. I think it doesn't matter either way. I think I think the Bills just you're win take, this. You're taking the I was going to say, you, you have to take a pick, brother. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think it matters. Like, the Bills are just going to win. <laughs> I think I think you're right too, but I I hate leaving them with one win. All right. Well, I so, left I left them with two. We all two win two wins for the Pats here. Yep. Mip, what's the uh, over under right now? I'm guessing it's three and a half. Um, give me one second on that. And then I'm gonna jump over. Uh, I believe Weston wanted to cover the Jets next, so we will do the Jets. And then we'll uh, go over into the Bills, followed by the Dolphins. 
kind of ranking teams in terms of personal interest at this point. Um, all right. Shall we wait for Mip or shall we just get, get ripping? I almost have it. It's right. Where is it? Right here. All right. So the over under for the Pats wins might surprise you a little bit. Five. Four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, that's really high. Looking at their schedule. I think like the Titans and then some of those divisional games are their only really chances at wins. Actually, Vegas is kind of between four and a half and five and a half. I think maximum they squeak out like three, maybe four wins. We're talking like divisional games, and then maybe they pull off a few. You got the Jags and Cardinals and Chargers. And then obviously injuries, but I don't see them going over five. Yeah, that'd be pretty ridiculous. The Cardinals. Unless, yeah. unless yeah. Drake May is just a god. You have to think I that that's ha- what's kind of <laughs> built in. I might hammer the under of three and a half. Go for I'll it. That. Let's do it. Let's all take it. All right. Under th- under three and a half plus 235. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. <laughs> uh- <laughs> All right, let's move on to the Jets. I think we're going to have a lot of discrepancy here between us. Timer has started. Ten minutes on the clock. Week one, Niners. Loss. Niners. Yes, me as well. Week two, Titans. It's just too early. Uh, That's a win. Come on. (laughs) Come on. I have to ask, brother. (laughs) I know. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Yeah, I got I got the jet I got the Jets here. As do I. Um week three, we already, Pat. We already made that Jets. pick. I believe we all chose Patriots. Well. So we all chose the Patriots, exactly. No, I chose I chose the Jets. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> all right. Uh, don't don't loop me four. in on your bullshit. Broncos. Uh, we already made Jets, this pick. Jets, 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 Jets. And chose the Jets. Isn't it weird? We're actually confident the Jets are going to win five. games. So just starting off yeah, three and one I, after the one reason, start. We probably shouldn't five be. at the Vikings <laughs> um, in London. Jets. But not actually at the Vikings. I'm going to go Jets. Aaron Rodgers loves picking apart the Vikings. Yeah, I'll take the I'll take the Jets as well. Week six against the Bills. Uh, this one's at MetLife, so I'm going to take the Jets, and I think they split the series down the line. I like it. I think the Jets. Um, I think they'd take this one pretty much just as like a statement win at the beginning of the season. Um, at home, I think that kind of helps them out big time. They're going to get quite the uh, quite the crowd for this one. Yeah, I agree. I'll take Jets here. I think they start the season off hot. Are you saying Jets. they need a statement win is like completely accurate? Looking at their schedule, just compared to the Pats' schedule in general, it is just so much easier. It's insane. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they just have so many wins on their schedule. Speaking of another one, I think uh, week seven at Pittsburgh. I think that one's going to be a, a Jets. We already picked that one, didn't we, Noel? Uh, we did. I probably it's picked gonna be Jets. A cl- it's going to be a close game. Yeah, that's going to be a good game right there. It's gonna be we all score. chose the Jets. All chose the Jets, okay. If I didn't already pick them, I might have picked the Steelers here. You love yeah, I didn't Steelers. know we were having the Jets come off this like hot. Um, well, their schedule is ass. Week eight, we all picked the Jets already. Yep. 
they are officially seven and one on yeah. our on our radar here. Uh, week nine, we got the Texans, and I'm gonna hand this one to the Texans. They're gonna come out just absolutely swinging this year. It's a Thursday yeah. night football game. I'll take the Texans too. Yeah, younger team. I like it. Jets are pretty young though. Some places. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers just pulls that number up. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, mostly <laughs> talking about his old ass. Yeah, I think he's going to have an issue with the edge rushers that they have on the Texans, personally, if we really want to dive into that. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Um, week 10 at the Cardinals. Uh, I'm going to give this one to the Jets. Jets. We'll also give it to the Jets. Playing a little bit too safe here. I'm not, I'm not taking my normal risks. Yeah. I'm going to take one with week 11. I'm going to take the Colts over the Jets. I was thinking the same thing. I'm also going to take the Colts here. I'll take the Jets. Taking the Jets again. Yeah. Week, man. Sunday, Sunday night football, I think I think Anthony Richardson makes a point here. Stands no, Anthony out. Richardson crawls back into his shell. <laughs> I, I'm with Weston here. I think we'll Anthony see. Richardson... Uh, just gonna make an absolute statement here. And uh, is that wide receiver that you guys love? What's his name? Adonai Mitchell, AD. AD Mitchell. Yeah. Yes, sir. We'll see if he shows up by this, this point. Is, this is his breakout. This is his breakout game right here against a good Jets defense. He's gonna, You're gonna cook wait sauce. eleven weeks for a breakout game. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> week tw- uh, week thirteen. Against the Seahawks, I'm easy ripping Jets, but kind of feels like one of those games where the Seahawks take. Yeah, it's a toss-up. I'll take the Jets, though. I don't think they lose back-to-back. After the bye, too, yeah. I think the Seahawks take this one. It's fine. Just because they need to lose at some point. They're not that good of a team. I think they're, they're good, they're up but there. they're not that good. I think they're, they're that lose. good. It just depends how much how well Aaron Rodgers plays. They're going to lose to some mediocre team at some point. Yeah, they're the Jets. That'll happen. Yeah, so I got the Seahawks for that reason. Got the Seahawks. All right. That's your, that's your one mediocre team. Yep. So, week 14, Dolphins. Uh, I'm going to take the Jets here. It's at the Dolphins. At the Dolphins in December. The tough one is that the Jets have such a good defense, but Dolphins obviously have such a good offense. That's what I'm riding. I'm go, riding the I'm gonna, Jets defense. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Dolphins at home. I'll take, I'll yeah, I'm going to take the here. Dolphins too. One o'clock right. game. I think the Dolphins just match up too good in this I think they match up series. horribly. Why? I think the defense that the Jets has yeah. is just incredible. And the Dolphins the Jets, kind the of Jets actually so run into brick walls against yeah. good defenses. But last time they played, uh, they didn't have Tyreek, right? Is that the Jim Waddle 138 yards game? I do not Possibly. Remember. I don't remember. I just think that they match up well because um, I think we'll get it two ways. Well, the Dolphins have also added a ton on defense. Yeah, they have. I think I just think the Jets have have a fast defense too to to compare. Obviously, the Dolphins are so fast, but the Jets can keep up with it. I think, and they have good schemes for it. So, not it's going to be a close game, but I got, I'll hold on to the Dolphins there. It's a tough okay. one. Those division, the AFC division games are always tough. They are. I mean, all division games are just tough to guess. Yeah. Week fifteen, we got the Jets at the Jags. I got the Jets over the Jags. Week fifteen. It's a tough one for me. 
I'm going to take the Jags. Mm. I don't think Trevor Lawrence shows up against that defense. Yeah, definitely not. I think they, they made some improvements on offensive line that I'm hoping to see. I hope they will uh, show yeah. up here. You better hope. I think Week he has, 16. He has the ability. We'll see. Jets, Rams? I'm one. taking the Rams. Because I feel like they, I don't know, they win stupid games like this. Cooper Cup's going to go nuts or Puka is going to go nuts. They don't have the same caliber of defense as the Jets, but it doesn't seem to matter for them sometimes. I'm going to go Jets here. I think yeah. the Rams take a little bit of a step back. They, they were kind of a wild card team last year. You didn't know what you were going to get, but I think they take a little step back. It all got a little bit older. They lost some parts of the defense. I just Jets. think De- December in New York against an LA team. That too. A dome team. Yeah. So I got the Jets. Okay. Uh, <laughs> make, it, make it clear for you. Yeah, you love giving your opinion, but not actually saying who you take. Because you That's know fair. we're going to play back the, the clips. You're sick just of the straight myself. stuff being out in the air. Um... <laughs> <laughs> week 17 the rams i said earlier that i'm going to split this have the or not the rams sorry the bills i said earlier that i was going to have the bills take this one home i also have the bills yeah. here i think josh allen goes crazy yeah bills end a season at home i love it bills are gonna win all right and then week 18 i have the jets again i have the jets actually sweeping the dolphins I have the Dolphins sweeping the Jets. Wow. I got the Jets here. I think they split. Okay. We all had so different I, ones for that one. I believe I have them at 12 and 5. I also have them at 12 and 5. I think I that's a sure. good line. Maybe you had Dolphins, right? Yeah. And then Weston, you had Jets or Dolphins? Jets. Um, I had them at 11 and 6. I was high on them, but I gave them a lot of losses at the end. Just compensate for that. All right. That's going to be an interesting team to watch this year. Looking forward to it. Looks like they're over under yeah, it's gonna be fun. ten and a half. So we're all over. We're all over. Hammer it. Hammer the over. <laughs> we keep we keep doing this where we're high on the high teams and low on the low teams. So I'm trying to work in some randomness, but even that but isn't not. gonna do it. Yeah, even that <laughs> no. <laughs> I did it early with like the fucking Broncos schedule. But yeah, now it's just gone. Um All right, on to the Bills. Buffalo Bills. Buffalo. Yep. We got week 1 against the Cardinals. Yes, sir. That's a stinker. That's going to be a stinker so week one. Stop Martin being Harrison so high Jr. on the Cardinals. <laughs> Trey McBride. Stop it. They have no defense. No. I'll take the Bills. None. Yeah, this is uh, this is the Bills. Thank I'm also you. taking the Bills. Please come again. All right. Week one two, we got the Dolphins. Uh, I'm low-key just going to have the Dolphins take this one. I think uh, Josh Allen might start off throwing a couple interceptions this year. We'll see him struggle. Hey, the Dolphins took a, cu- a couple former Bills away from them, so hmm. they get the scouting Let's... report. Let's go Dolphins. Yeah, I got the Dolphins. Damn, I thought I was going to be a little bold for that one. <laughs> no. uh, 
Week three, we got the Jags. I'm going to take the Bills against the Jags here. We're already giving the Jags too many good, good picks here. I'm going to take yeah, the Jaguars. Yeah. I'm going to take... Take the Jags too, actually. I'll take the Jags. Hey, what the fuck? I can't have the, <laughs> Jets, the Jags beating the Jets, but you guys can have them beating the Bills, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah. The Bills are going to take a step back this year. All right. The Bills' number one wide right receiver might be Chase Claypool, so. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Get that bullshit out of here. Uh, week four. We got Bills at Ravens. They go Ravens. <laughs> Ravens. We already made that pick, too, though, didn't we? Probably. Pretty sure we all... Pretty sure we all picked the Ravens anyway. Check the records. Check the records. We all picked the Ravens except for Mip. Oh, Mip. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> you stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't back. even know what's going to happen. <laughs> week five. Oh, this is a tough stretch here. Uh, week five, you got the Texans. And I'm going to take... I'll go with the no, Bills. We're all high on the Texans, too. Well, if the Bills just beat the Ravens, according to my calculations, then <laughs> the Texans should beat the Bills. So, I'm going to ride with that. Sure. I'm going to take, take the Bills. I don't think they want Stefan Diggs to win this one. Yeah, that's true. Stefan Diggs doesn't give a shit. He's washed. So we just made our week six picks as well, and we all chose the Jets over the Bills. Unless I recorded that wrong. No, I think that's yeah. right. Um, week seven, we got the Titans. That's a win for the Bills. Yeah, pretty easily. Get this Titans bullshit out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna go Titans. What? You're weird for that man. You're I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go that. Titans. We need a psych eval on this guy. Lock him up. Um. Bills. Seahawks. Bills. Week eight. At Seahawks. Bills. That's a tough one too. I'm gonna easily give this to the Bills as well. I have like three and three or three and four coming into this, or four and three coming into this. Yeah, I'll go Bills. Week nine, Dolphins. I got the Dolphins. I think I also have the Dolphins. I think the Bills are gonna be struggling to get in, dude. Dolphins with a sweep. Mip and I both have it. Is this? Uh, yeah, I'll give him the sweep. Actually, I can't. I can't give him the. No, I'll go sweep. Dolphins. Hey, make your own decisions. I'm, you know, I'm actually backing right out. It's just weird I'm to look backing at. out of that that Dolphins take, looking at their future schedule. Because <laughs> <laughs> the Bills are going to lose hey, no so cheating. many games. No cheating. It's not cheating to know their schedule. <laughs> uh, Alright, week 10, the Colts. I'm going to take the Colts. I got the Bills. I got the Colts. Back me out of that Dolphins pick, too. I don't think they sweep the division there. Back me out of All that, right. and I'll take I'll take the Colts here. Alright, brother. That's kind of what I, right, I was doing, too. Um... And then we got the Chiefs, and I'm going to take the Bills over the Chiefs. We already made that pick, though. And I probably didn't fucking pick the Bills over the Yeah, you probably, you probably picked the Chiefs. I got the Chiefs. Chiefs. Wes and I both picked the Chiefs. Okay. okay. That's going to be a good game. I think week 11 is going to be close. All right, so it's Chiefs right there. Week 12, we got the bye. Week 13, we got the 49ers. I'm going to take the Bills. I was looking Ooh. for a big game here. 
think 49ers fall apart this year. No. Sunday night football, I'm taking the Niners. Yeah, I got the Niners. The Bills are slept on. Rightfully so. That's what you get for paying a quarterback a shit ton of money and having no plan. I'm going to take the the Bills over the Rams in week 14 as well. Just got to keep the Bills rolling a little bit here. That's tough. Big bye week sets them up. This is a hard fought game. I'll take the Bills here too. I think there's yeah. just two teams, two teams taking a step back. Who wants it more? I'll take the Bills. All right, week fifteen. I'm gonna take the Bills over the Lions. I can't do that. I'm taking Lions. Ah, I love the Lions. Is that how you make your picks? Yep. <laughs> you know me, I just love Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, dude? <laughs> all right, week all in on 16. The lines, baby. We have all made our picks for week 16, and that's going to be Bills A shafting the of the Patriots. All right, and then week 17, we got the Jets. We all already made that pick as well. We all had Bills. Damn, all had week bills. 18. Unless I'm mistaken. I type these pretty fast. Uh, week 18, I had the Bills, and you guys had the... No, Weston and I had the Pats. Mm-hmm. And Mip had the Bills. I believe I have them at 11 and 6. You have them at 11 and 6? Mm-hmm. The over-under, would you like to know? I, the... yeah. I also have them at 11 and 6. The over-under is 11 and a half. I think hammer that under. Huh. I'm hammering the under because I had seven and nine. Like nine. <laughs> seven and nine. What the fuck? How many? <laughs> isn't there supposed to be seventeen games? How did I get? So I'm missing one. Under ten and a half is minus odds. I'm, I'm hammering the under on that one. You like the minus odds? Yep. <laughs> Means you're right. Exactly. All right. And on to the Dolphins, who I think I've shafted. I think this always happens. Where one team just gets zero wins from me. We'll see, though. I think I might have them undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> I think I right. actually have them undefeated in the division. I think you no do. Way. <laughs> I think I do. I think you had I them do. swept the swept the G- Jets, and then what do you have in the Bills? You had them sweeping the Bills. Yep. All right. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's uh, give this a go here. We're sticking pretty well to our ten minute timer. Um, Keep go. us on track. Week one, Jags. Dolphins. Week one against the Jaguars. I'm going to go Dolphins as well. Dolphins always right. come out hot. Taking the Jags. I like the Jags for some reason this year. Noel also has the Dol- the Jaguars undefeated. I do have the Jaguars <laughs> undefeated, but that doesn't actually count because I'm right. So week two, we all have the Dolphins. Against the Bills. Okay. Week three, Dolphins at Seahawks. I'm going to take Dolphins. Yep, let's take the Dolphins again. That just Dolphins, feels like an absolute ass kicking. Let's so make does week them five four and zero. Let's five. go. Yeah, anybody? I I don't have four and zero or five and zero, but I'm willing to ride with you guys through the rest of these until the bye. Yeah, I got four and zero against the Titans. We also had them beating the Patriots. And then what, we go week seven against the Colts. I think they beat the Colts. Catch up. Uh, I don't. I think I have the Colts undefeated. 
They have that early of a bye, too. Do you have the Colts after the Dolphins bye? I have the Colts after the Dolphins bye. I got the the Dolphins. I got the Dolphins just because it's an offense. I love the Colts this year. I absolutely love them. Uh, Week 8, we got the Cardinals. You guys still have the Dolphins undefeated. Uh, Um, I'm I'm going to rip the Dolphins here. I'm going to take the Cardinals in this one. I think it's going to be a weird one. Cardinals have no defense. They're actually primed to just get shot. I'm going to take the, the, Car- take the Dolphins, Dolphins here. Yeah. You need you need somewhat of a defense to stop the Dolphins. I'm going to take the Dolphins. It's going to be a weird one. Could be. All right. Uh, week nine. MIP has the Dolphins. Weston and I have the Bills. First loss. Um, week 10, we got the Rams at the Rams, and I don't know if the Rams defense is going to be able to do anything. I don't think so. I'm going to take Dolphins. It's like Weston and I are pretty much basing our things entirely on the same logic and making the same picks. (laughs) Yep. Yeah, I'll take the Dolphins too. So, Mip, you have the Dolphins only losing... One game to this point. One game to the Cardinals. <laughs> yep. All right, week 11, we have the Raiders. We've already made this pick. Mip, you get to make this pick. Uh, we this both are chose the Dolphins. Dolphins, but okay. it's just a bad question. Week 12, uh, did anybody actually take the Patriots here? No. No. At Dolphins, no chance. Week 13, Packers. Got to take the Packers. I'm going to have them undefeated as well. I'm I also going to take, take the Packers, Packers here. Yeah, Packers Let's sweep. Let's fucking ride. I think that's the first Packers game that we've even seen. Um, week 14, Jets. We already made this pick. I take Jets. You guys both take Dolphins. All right. Undefeated in the division. That's insane. <laughs> What's the last time that happened? <laughs> that, that is insane. I don't know. The Patriots for like 20 straight years. It's true. Um, week 15 at the Texans. Yikes, this is a tough segment of the schedule. Hmm. I don't know what That's to do. That's a lot of offense right there. I'm going to take I'm gonna give, the Texans. I'm going to take the Texans as well and give them the edge. Literally, their edge rushers are going to yeah. make the difference in this game. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. I think a little, they have a little bit of... The, uh, advantage two is going to get so yeah. Two is going to get uncomfy. Not going to be able to develop the plays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I, yeah. I'm going to take the Texans. All right. Week sixteen. Can't talk out of it. I'm going to take the Dolphins over the 49ers just for fun. It's going to do the same shit. They're going to split between the Texans and the Niners. Yeah, I think that would be really yeah, good for them. I'm going to give. Do. I'm going to give them the. I'm going to give them the Niners. I'm going That's to take crazy. Dolphins here as well. Dolphins. Week 17, we got the Browns. I'm going to take the Browns over the Dolphins. You're a psychopath. Didn't we already I'm make taking, this pick? Uh, Again, the defense there, yeah. but I'm still. I'm taking Dolphins here. We already made this pick. Oh, damn. Give me Dolphins. Uh, Browns, Mip and I, Dolphins, Weston. Didn't you just Wait. say I was a psycho? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> How'd that happen? End of the season. I like, that, I like that this is over multiple weeks, so like my takes from last week are just kind of completely different from my takes from this week. It's all hawk garbage. Uh, week... 18. <laughs> Weston and I have Jets and Nip, you have Dolphins. 
Sweep the division, baby. All right. I got him right. at 13 and 4. That's insane. Is it, though? I also have them at 13 and 4. <laughs> All right, so Dolphins win the division. Over under is ten and a half. I have them at however many losses, nine wins is nine and eight. Wow, that's crazy. You're drunk. Wow, yeah, that is crazy. I just there's a lot of good teams on their schedule here. I actually I have this division coming down to week eighteen because I have the Jets. 12 and 5, and then the Dolphins 13 and 4. So whoever wins at week 18. There's a lot of good teams on their schedule, one. and it's the Dolphins 13 times out of the 17 games. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he it just makes said. Sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I just. There's a lot of easy layup games, and I gave it to them in a lot of those. You know, Seahawks, Titans, Patriots. But they also have a Bills, Rams, uh, Packers, Jets, Texans, Niners, Browns, Jets again. I'm like, that's tough. So they're going to be fighting for it. Yeah, this, well, I think I still got three good teams in this division. Two? Oh, three. Yeah. Not, not, okay. Yeah, there's three. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. The, bill, so, the Bills are still there, but Bills are okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're Super Bowl contenders, but they're they're still a good team. Yes, sir. So, all right, that's it. Oh, that's that's the AFC East. So we can finish up the AFC uh, next week and then move on to the NFC. Hopefully, finish that up uh, just in time for preseason and everything like that. So, awesome. If you Sweet. enjoyed listening to this and looking forward to the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, rate, uh, you know, wherever you listen to your podcasts. Or if you want to find us on YouTube, we kind of go through the games a little bit better there. Um, But as always, appreciate everybody for listening. Um, Keep an eye out for potential Discord droppings. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. See you guys.